hello good viewers here yeah, hello welcome into this tutorial we are going to be solving this beautiful exponential equation so now here i'm going to rewrite this equation like 5 dot 4 to the power of x multiplied by 4 to the power of 1 that is from the law of indices so this can be splitted like this right that is 4 to the power of x plus 1 can be splitted like this minus 16 to the power of x equals 64 so we have 5 dot 4 to the power of x dot 4 to the power of 1 minus i can rewrite this 16 in as uh, in this form of this 4 that is 4 to the power of 2 then we have x equals we have we have 64 so now from there we move on so you can see this is multiplication 5 times 4 that's going to be 20 multiply let me use a parenthesis 4 to the power of x minus now here this x i can interchange this to be 4 x should be coming in then i put the 2 outside equals 64 so now from there so let let y be equals 4 to the power of x so therefore anyway we see 4 to the power of x from this equation we're going to replace it by y so we're going to have 20 y right minus uh y all squared then equals what equals 64 so i can rearrange this equation to be like taking everything here to the right hand side this is going to the right hand side this is also going to the right hand side you're going to have y squared minus 20y then plus 64 equals 0 so now we have this to be quadratic equation in terms of y so now the next thing we are going to do we are going to look for the uh, possible factors of 64 that when we multiply the two factors together so we must have plus 64 but when you add them together we must have minus what minus 20 so now the we can see that this is going to be like uh, minus 16 if i send minus 16 multiplied by minus what minus 4 this will give me uh, plus 64 but i say minus 16 mm, plus minus 4 okay minus 16 plus minus 4 they will give me minus 20 so therefore we are going to use minus 16 and minus 4 so i'm going to have y squared minus 16 y minus 4 y plus 64 then equal zero i follow you so now from there so i'm going to group this if I group this into two, I'm going to bring out the common factors. So now here, the common factor here is y. Y is coming out. Y squared divided by y, we have y minus. 16 y divided by y, we are going to be having 16. Then minus, so I will take out the 4 is the common factor 4 into bracket y. Then I'm going to be having this to be minus 16, then equals 0. Right, so from there, so here now, let's factorize. We have y minus 16, y minus 16 here. So I will going to factorize it out 16. So everything here divided by y minus 16, I will be having y minus everything here divided by y minus 16, I'll be having 4. So we are going to be having 0. So now here, this is 0 form equation. So whereby we're going to have y minus 16 to be equal 0, or we have y minus 4 to be equal 0. So now from there, so we transpose 16 to the right hand side. We transpose 4 to the right hand side we're going to have y equals 16 then we have y equals 4 so now from there don't forget that we are not looking for the value of y so the value we are looking for is uh, x which is our variable so we need to recall that we recall that from the beginning we said x to be from here we said x to be or uh, y to be 4 to power x so therefore let's take it back y equals 4 to the power of x and we got y to be 16 we are going to have 16 4 to the power of x so we are going to write this 16 as this 4 to the power of 2 4 to the power of x so from there we can see that the bit we are having the same basis therefore this implies that the exponent will be equal we have x equals 2 right so now since x equals 2 let's go back to this so we have what we have y and we have already recalled that y is what is 4 to the power of x so we going to pick this so 4 equals 4 to the power of x so we are going to rewrite this okay we have 4 we have 4 here so 4 can be written as 4 to the power of 1 
So since we have 4 to the power of 1, so we are going to equate the exponent because the basis are the same. We have x to be equals what x to be equals 1. So therefore, we have two solutions. So we have x equals 1 and x equals 2. Understood? So now, can we see how we can check uh, the validity of the solution we have? So let's check the validity. When x equals 2, we're going to have 5.4. 2 plus 1, this is going to be 3 minus 16 to the power of 2. So we're going to see whether we're going to have 64. So now here, we have 5 to the 5 times 4 to the power of 3 minus 16 to the power of 3. Right? So here, we're going to have 5 dot 4 to the power of 3 minus we can have this one to be 4 to the power of 2 multiplied by these two that is here is going to give us 64 so 5 to the power of we have 5 dot 5 to the power of 3 minus 4 dot 4 because uh, 4 is to the power 4 equals 64 so now here we have 4 is to the power 3 comma 4 is to the power 3 then we have 5 minus here will be 4 is to the power what 4 is to the power 1 which is equals 64 so now 5 minus 1 will give us 1, then multiply by 4 to the power of 3, 64. So 4 to the power of 3 is same thing as 64. So we can see that we have the left hand side to be equal to the right hand side. That is when x equals what? When x equals 2. So now let's check when x equals 1. So when x equals 1, so we're going to have <coughs> 5 multiplied by 4 to the power x plus 1 minus 16 x equals 64 that is the equation we have so we have 5 dot 4 1 plus 1 that will give us 2 minus 4 can be written as 2 then x is 1 multiplied by 1 equals 64 so we have 5 dot 4 to the power of 2 then minus here the 4 to the power of 2 is equal to give us 64 so we have 4 to the power of 2 is common i will take it out 4 to the power of 2 then 5 is a minus 1 so equals 64 so we have 4 to the power of 2. 5 minus 1 will give us 4. We have 4 equals 64. But you know that 4 can be written as 4 to the power of 1. So we have 4, 2 plus 1 equals 64. So which is that 4 to the power of 3 equals 64. And 4 to the power of 3 is written as 64 equals 64. So therefore, we can see that the two sides, I mean, are the same. Left hand side and right hand side are the same. So therefore, uh, we have these two solutions we have, they are valid. They are valid solutions to the problem, right? So that is the end of the class. If you find the class very interesting, so do not hesitate to uh, share this to your, your police. If you have not subscribed to our YouTube channel before, consider subscribing today so that you'll be notified anytime you upload new content. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.